Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm coming to you with another energy forecast and we are talking about the energies at play at the moment and energies that will last for the next six weeks or so. So we're talking about mid-October 2019 till about the end of November 2019. So I actually felt like I'd covered the broader themes in terms of the energies in my previous energy forecast. Um, but this last weekend over the uh, full moon on the 13th of October, I had quite a few um, emails coming to me and comments on the website, as well as on uh, the YouTube channel, basically asking me what is going on, what is this energy about, and what is this turbulence about. And I also uh, recognize that most of these people were having quite different experiences, quite a lot of different emotions. And I wanted to talk to you today about the common thread there. What have we been going through and where are we headed to and what can we expect um, from this energy? So I feel that for a lot of you, in some way or the other, you would have experienced this energy as in I've had enough and I'm not going to tolerate any of this any longer. Or I'm not going to take this any longer. You might have also come into some very valuable insights along the way as a result of that experience or as a result of any particular experiences in which you've come to the end of your tether. So those valuable insights might have been along the way of understanding that a certain change needs to be made and understanding exactly how that change needs to come about. So previously for longer periods you might have been feeling that yes change needs to come about or you're not really sure about how you can bring this change about, or how it would appear, or how it would present itself, and what would be the alternatives. But right now, this full moon that we've just experienced would have brought you to a stage where you could easily identify how the changes would be made, or, or brought you to a point uh, where you really felt like you couldn't take very much more, and you had to actually just stop and and make the change, whether it means just buying a new instrument or uh, whether it means um, creating some boundaries with regard to relationships or whether it uh, it talks about uh, whatever the change is, it talks about bringing you closer to yourself, it talks about you taking better care of yourself, it talks about you uh, finding a new respect for yourself and actually bringing uh, yourself into focus where you can understand what your needs are and actually find a way to meet your needs. So this is no longer about tolerating um, anything that would not be meeting your needs. It would, it's no longer um, accepting that which goes against your well-being. It's almost highlighting that which is not okay in your life and then saying, well, we're not going to be able to continue with that. We're going to make some changes. And also then realizing what those changes are going to be. Now, some of you may have uh, responded with a fair deal of passion or rage or aggression or uh, being highly emotional during this time. You might have experienced quite a great height of emotion. For some of you, it might have been that you were angry at others. For some of you, you may have experienced this emotion as going inward and feeling that anger towards yourself. Um, for others, it might have been a very high level of anxiety or a feeling of um, ex extreme dissatisfaction with yourself. And um, you could have also just been feeling like, you know, you're just not sure of how to go forward. But you all, once again, it brought you to that point where you can actually see, well, something here needs to change. So the main focus or what the main thing that one can take away from this is that something needs to change, something needs to be altered in one's life. It doesn't have to be huge changes. For some of you, it will be huge changes. For others of you, it will impact you in smaller ways. So everyone's experiencing something quite unique here. And the other thing is that it's going to become clearer to you as we move along now in the next few weeks, what it is that needs to be done. It's going to become quite clear the kind of change that needs to take place. For some of you, you've been um, avoiding this change for several years already or you've been kind of festering on these emotions and feeling these emotions come to the fore but not really being sure of how to deal with them 
And it's almost like you understand a different part of yourself, or it's almost like a new aspect of yourself is being unleashed. And there, within that, you have the power, uh, or therein lies the power to actually effect that change. So before this, it's almost like you haven't had the power to effect that change. But now this like level is being unleashed or this level is unlocked in you. And now you can actually effect that change. So you're going to be able to make some waves in your life. So for those of you um, who have been feeling like you've been quite stagnant in your life and things haven't been able to move forward, you can be, you can rest assured that uh, this jolt that's come in in this last weekend which uh, would be the 13th of October, or the 12th, 13th of October, 2019, would actually be the, the, the sign that things are about to move forward. It's almost about to, like, fall forward. You know, it's almost like you've been trying to turn, uh, like, start an engine, like, over and over again, and then it, it just doesn't start, and then you're almost giving up hope, and you're getting angry, and you're getting upset, and you're getting frustrated, and you're despairing. And then you turn the engine once again, and it open, it, it starts up, but it almost splutters, and then it bursts forward. It's like like you fly forward, like you've got your car in gear, and then you, you're kind of, like, thrown forward. Um, and this kind of energy is, is bringing you that change. It's bringing you that movement, and you're going to find that if you actually follow your heart and you follow your soul and you're being real with yourself and you're being authentic and you're following your soul purpose or you're at least trying to do something that's in accordance with your soul purpose, then you're going to find that it's going to it's going to flow really easily in the next few weeks. It's going to flow um, with ease and with it's almost like it's divinely or ordained, like it's, it's you in tune with all that is divine and things are going according to plan and it's going to unfold with ease and um it's like like changes that you've been trying to make for several years haven't been able to be made and now it's going to to start happening and you it's almost like you're going to be asking yourself why hasn't it happened why hasn't it why haven't i been able to do this before and you know why why what changed now that i i'm actually able to do this well that links into like greater themes of of change and um, yeah, that that's like it's related to all kinds of changes that are taking place and a greater shift in a, of of the paradigm. But right now, you're going to be working on the on the shift where you're actually going to be making some very uh, fundamental changes in your life, which are going to be working towards improving your life, and where you are really coming more clearer in yourself because you're unwilling to accept anything that is not respectful of you or not. Um, that doesn't share your values you know it's going to be for some of you it's going to be very value based like if if something does not share your values you're just going to be able to write that off you're not going to be able to do that anymore it's like certain relationships that go against your own values and your own being you won't be able to to manage that and you, you, it might feel like you need to write that off or you, you might feel that those relationships have come to an end but that isn't necessarily the case like for some of you you might write those relationships off for others of you it's like about finding another way of um of meandering or of working through to that in that relationship it's like finding another way to um um to understand that person finding a new compassion in yourself to understand what your relationships are about and and what is it that your relationship actually requires maybe it requires you to take a step back maybe it requires you to take a step back from everything just to understand your new perspective a little bit better before you can go on and before you can continue with very close relationships or even relationships with, with your clients or with your customers or with your patients or with your bosses um, with employees uh, employers um, and I feel like this could also be in terms of well, like friends or um, it could also relate to you in terms of partnerships as well as in family. So in like all relationships, basically, I feel that um, also this this energy is going to take you through to the by the end of November. And by the end of November, you're going to have an actual plan as to how to go forward with this. And this is maybe not something that you requires a plan. You know, maybe it's just a different attitude or a different approach that you're taking towards your child or, you know, somebody else. But the way in which uh, it presents itself or how in the change comes into effect will 
will be clear by uh, the end of November of 2019. Now, there's lots of other energies at play here, but I don't want to make this video too long because I can imagine that um, just, you know, having you know, there's no kind of real visual content here. And so um, it, it's probably quite boring for you to just uh, sit here and look at me. Uh, of course, I hope that you are washing dishes, doing something else while you are listening to this video. But um, I'm going to make a, a couple of other videos as the weeks go by, talking a little bit more about the energies as uh, we experiencing it at, as we go along. So that's it for now. And if you've been wondering why this energy of this full moon has been so turbulent, it's because it's been moving you. It's almost like it's pulling the rug out from underneath you. It's almost like you haven't been expecting it. It's been quite a surprise. And but it's in a way, it's not even a surprise because this is something that's been building up for quite a long time. If you look at it close enough. All right. So I hope that's in that's helped you and you it helps you understand what's been going on in terms of the energies of this last full moon and where you're headed to and what you can expect as you go along for the rest of October and a bit of November or at least till the end of November is what I've said but I feel that this kind of um, the major work of this will be done within the next three weeks so like till the first week of November and it's almost like by the end of November you'll have like the result of it and uh, like a satisfactory result you know like you'll be feeling quite happy about about that result okay so wishing you all very well and blessings abound from kismet rising take good care